Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on this channel. Sabi from Code Revolution here. So a question is popping up quite often on from people who contact me and they are asking how to sell more on Code Canyon or Team Forest or Inveto marketplaces in general. So I am getting this question from people that are starting off their journey on Code Canyon, selling uh, new content on Code Canyon, and they want to know how exactly they can generate more revenue from Code Canyon and sell more uh, from this marketplace. Okay, so there are some key things that we need to cover in this video, and let's get straight into them. So first thing first, you need to solve customer problems. So as you can see, the highest uh, selling pl uh, plugins from my portfolio here on Code Canyon are the Newsomatic plugin and the Echo RSS feed importer plugin. So these uh, plugins create automatic news uh, blocks for customers. So if you buy these plugins, then you can create an automatic blog that will import news posts uh, to and automatically generate content for your blog. So this is the main problem my plugins solve for customers. So it enables them to have an automatic blog and they can also add manual content to the auto-generated content or just leave the auto-generated content as is on their blogs. So first of all, find a customer problem that you might have also, solve it with a plugin and put it for sale and check if it solves also uh, problems of other people. If it does, it will surely have uh, quite some sales. So this is the first method, find something that solves problems of uh, customers. Uh, the second step is to create an excellent plugin product page. So if you can see here, you must have a good title. The image of the plugin should be of high quality and high resolution and not so complicated, not with much uh, text on it, only some image and the title and some headline. This is my strategy you can do it some uh, how uh, different but this is my strategy also there should be many images uh, in the post content because text is not so well um, received by customers in general because customers like images like colors and they like to read only text uh, only lines of text from images. If they are, so the strategy in here is the following. The, the customer should be, uh, uh, should like the first image and he should scroll down and see more images with some uh, content that should capture his attention. And the uh, textual content should increase like this so it should increase steadily there are only images here is more text more text and if we scroll down then we can see the full description of the plugin so if the customer is really interested in the plugin he will scroll down and he will see the text and he will read it but however if the text is the first thing that he sees he might not read it fully and might not understand about what is what is this plugin about and what it does however if we present the first thing first some images with what the plugin can do and what the customer will achieve from the plugin then he understood he will understand better what the plugin is and if he's interested in the plugin, he will scroll down and read also details about it. So this is very, very important. Do not overwhelm the customer with text from the start, only 
if he scrolls down and he is interested in details. Okay. So this is the main thing I want to tell you about product description pages. Okay. So the first thing is to have a, de a demo for the plugin and also a tutorial video. So if you can see, I have the demo here and the tutorial videos here. If the customer clicks here, then the demo will be generated and he can test the plugin live in the live demo. So this is a very, very important thing to uh, make the customers understand what they are buying. So as you can see, a demo instance of the plugin was generated. Here he can use it, the fully the plugin in this demo blog. And the customer will be able to create its own uh, plugin settings and configure this demo blog exactly like he would have already purchased the plugin. And he will understand fully what is the plugin and how uh, he can use it. Also, if you create uh, demos like this, it is very important that you also create tutorial videos like this. Hello, so you should have uh, the exact to tutorial video plugin. for the plugin, how to install it, how to get um, how to get a uh, configuration for it, how to configure it, how to make it work fully. So this is the also a very, very important thing. <clears throat> and this should be besides your demo. Okay. Another very important thing is to have reviews that are at least four, four and a half stars. So reviews should be flawless. As you can see here for Newsomatic, if we sort from lowest, I have some uh, one. Uh, I have one one star review, but uh, I tried to contact this customer and he did not reply. So this is very important. When you get negative uh, feedback, then you must try to contact the customer and fix the feedback that they provided to you and fix their issue, and they will also provide a better review after they you fix their issue. So this is the main thing. If you get lower ratings, then you should uh, contact them as soon as possible and fix their issue. If they don't respond, bad luck. Okay, so another thing that is very important is to update plugins uh, regularly. So if we go to Newsomatic and scroll down, we can see that I included also a change log in here in plugin description at the bottom of it. And we can see that from 2017, it is regularly updated until August, which is the current month. So it was regularly updated until now. So this is also very, very important for customers to see that the plugin is regularly updated and it is not, uh, they are not buying something that they will not, uh, we will be able to use on the long run. So this is also very important to let them know that they will be able to use your plugin on the long run. Okay. And uh, one more thing is content marketing that you have to create content on your blog, on YouTube, on Every, any uh, content channel that you uh, can access and you should create content and promote your uh, work and plugins over there. So you can do it with tutorial videos, with promotions, with anything you can think of. So generate content that features the plugins you created and link the, from the, that content to your plugins. Okay, so yeah, I think this is all for this video. So I hope um, this helped you and uh, will help you create better 
uh, work and sell more on Code Canyon and on any Envato marketplace. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel and for more similar videos also hit the bell notification to be notified each time I release a new video. I will release videos uh, daily and similar content will come so if you want to get each day a new video like this don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification also one more thing i forgot to tell you that if you wish to create the demo blogs that uh, i showed you here i have a plugin for this the demo my wordpress this plugin will create exactly the demo blog uh, so this plugin will create for you the demo blog for your plugin. So you only need to install on a more multi-site WordPress install your plugin and install the demo my WordPress plugin and it will create this kind of demo blocks for you. Okay. So as I said before, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and until next time, have a great day. Bye bye.